What's going on everybody? Hey, how y'all doing? So, you know what? Today, I got a subject to talk about and um, it's not a good subject. It's not a good subject. It's a good subject because I want to bring awareness to this. <clears throat> so I'm looking on my Facebook page today, right? And uh, I'm checking out, uh, someone sent me a link through my Facebook page. By the way, y'all should uh, go over there and like my Facebook page. No, go down to the description and check it out. And someone sent me a link to this guy named, uh, who was his name? Dr. Boyce Watkins. He's a columnist at the Florida, Cur Florida Courier. And uh, he was writing about how to raise a proper, or how not to raise a proper black man. Now this is what gets me about this. Because he's so true with what he says. He is so true with what the, the things that he's saying. I'm going to put, if y'all can see his picture right up here. Yeah, that guy right there. Go check out his column. I'll put the description, the link in the description down below, down in the box down now. So y'all need to go check it out. But some of the key points that he hit on, which makes sense, you know, he's a, a, a black man who was raised by a single black mother who taught him right from wrong, who taught him good from bad, who actually raised him instead of being his friend. There's a lot of people out there now who are trying to be people's friend. Stop being their friends. They're your children. Raise them as such. Don't raise them as you. You could, you could be friendly toward them, but when it comes down to it, you're there to guide them. You're not there to hold their hands and sugarcoat things and, you know, lie to them about all this. Don't do none of that because what you're doing is you're handicapping them. The reason why all these kids now don't have any regard for life, don't have any regard for nobody else's safety or anybody else's property is because they were never taught to value what someone else has. You just can't do that, you know. And then someone shoots them or kills them, and the first thing these mothers want to do is hold a goddamn vigil or something called Farrakhan and all these other people and try to get them to rally and find out why was they shot. Why in the fuck was they out at 3 o'clock in the morning on a corner selling dope in the first place? They shouldn't have been shot. You should. You should get shot in your motherfucking ass. Stop doing this shit. Stop being such an idiot and an asshole. You know what I'm saying? And we got to raise our kids. We have to. We just can't sit there and let the streets raise them. And then, you know, we think it's all cute. And you know what? His name is Lil Boo Boo. And, 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 and he be throwing up this and that. No. Stop all that shit. Stop all that shit. We, we trying to raise intelligent human beings here. We trying to move forward. Our ancestors died for a reason. They just didn't die. They died for a reason to make it better for us. And look what the hell we doing. Look what the hell we doing. Now, I'm not saying there's a lot of people out there who are doing this. I'm just saying there are certain people, and you know who you are. You know who you are out there doing this shit. Here's some examples. Check this out. It say, so if you want your son to grow up to be a horrible father and husband for somebody else, here are a few things you can do. Never make him accountable. If he goes to jail, mortgage your house to pay the attorney. If he gets fired from the, his fourth job in a row, of course, it's because he's black. Yeah, you know, they always say that. Oh, they had it in for me. They didn't like me. Anything that goes wrong in his life, explain to him why none of it is ever his fault. Do it sound familiar? Do it sound familiar? There's more in there, but do it sound familiar? Number two, allow him to be lazy. Yeah, why not? Allow him to be lazy. Clean his room. Clean his room for him. Wash his clothes. Don't make him do any chores. Don't make him work for anything ever. When he's 32 years old, let him live in your basement and spend the day in his drawers smoking weed and playing Xbox. He'll get that record deal eventually. Because you know they always, I'm going to be a big star. I'm going to be a this. I'm going to be a that. 32 years old, sitting in the damn basement watching wrestling or playing the Xbox. Xbox Kings. Madden Kings. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, what's that new one? Uh, uh. Uh, uh, Battlefield 4 Kings. Shit like that. Get your fucking ass. You ain't even pay for the fucking game. You ain't paying for the damn internet that's, that's, that is hooked up to. You ain't paying for the Xbox that is being played on. Come on, man. That's some bullshit. Don't ever force him to manage his money. Yeah. Buy him a lot of really expensive material possessions like 250 Air Jordans. Don't make him work for any of that money. If he wrecks the new car you bought to him, just buy another one. That's right. That's right. You don't want him to be accountable for nothing. Come on now. Yeah. Just buy him another one. There's more to that. Number four, congratulate him for being a player. Let him treat his girlfriends like garbage without saying a word. When he tells you that he got his fourth girl pregnant, just congratulate him man, and agree to watch the kids while his baby mama is at the club. Sound familiar? 
Sound familiar? Sound fucking familiar? Now some of y'all, and, and I'm not saying it's everybody, I'm not saying it's everybody, and my, my viewers, I don't think it's any of my viewers, I truly don't think it's any of my viewers, but I bet you y'all know somebody like that. I bet you y'all know somebody who got those qualifications, at least two out of the four, three out of the four probably. Number five, don't make him get an education. Nah, education is bad. If he brings home straight D's on this report card, just remember that he's the best player on the basketball team. Go buy him something nice to make him feel better, since those bad grades are going to hurt his self-esteem. Yep, yep, let him drop out of school. You know good and well the damn school and called you 15 times telling you this nigga ain't been in school I don't know how long. And I'm sorry for saying that N-word, but you know what? That's what the fuck most of them are. I, I just don't understand. And that word applies to white, black, green, or yellow. It's not a race word. It's a, it's a, it's a, a descriptive word about how you act. This is some bullshit. Really. We got we to gotta wake up with all this shit. I mean, and there's more. And I want y'all to read this article. I'm going to put the link down there. Go read this article. I guarantee you, you know somebody like that. And I'm not saying it's my people because I know my people are not like that. I know my viewers. My viewers are not like that. I, I know a lot of them personally. Well, I don't know them personally, but I've, I've been invited to know them through their pages in their home. So I can see kind of, you know, that their kids or, or they are on the right track. I mean, we all can't be superstars and rocket scientists. I know that, but you know what? You got to keep moving forward. You cannot let your feet stop moving forward. When you stop moving forward, you're not making any progress. Then you just consider defeat. You know, you if you want if you get to a point where you're just comfortable by yourself and you're able to take care of and and, and be productive with yourself and be a productive part of the uh, world, I can understand that. But if your ass is out there doing all this foul shit, you cussing your mama out, you telling them what you ain't gonna do, and you living in that goddamn house, you staying with them. This is you staying there. That's some bullshit. Get your motherfucking ass up and go get you a place to stay. Get you some business. You call yourself a man or a woman. You know, oh, uh, uh, I'm going to go hang with my girls and this and that, you little tramp. And you ain't doing shit for yourself. Not paying not one bill. You got a cell phone bill that you pay. Your mama paying everything, washing your clothes, like this man is saying. And that was just for the guys. But, you know, some of those characteristics follow with the girls, too. We got to stop this, people. I mean, this is just crazy. And I'm just saying, you know. I just wanted to come on and say this because when they sent me this uh, letter, when they sent me this email, you know, I just thought it was crazy, you know. So I'm, I'm just putting it out there. This shit is some bullshit is what it is. It's some motherfucker. It's some epic bullshit. <laughs> Y'all hear me? We got to stop this shit because uh, you know what? I ain't down for none of that. No, you're going to have to do something. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to do something. Get up off your ass. And I ain't saying you got to succeed because you're not going to succeed all the time. But at least try. At least get up and try. If you can't get up and try, then that's why I got the problem. 